Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Austin, aka Duck Koala, and welcome to the channel, guys. So, by request by a lot of you guys in the comment section down below, we're going to be reading another story. Actually, it's going to be a continuation from a series that we started reading, and that is Safe Room. Now, it is from the Cliffhanger app, and basically, what happened is, if you guys, if you guys haven't seen part one yet, I'll link it in the description down below. Make sure you guys go check it out. But basically, we have a girl named Lauren, and then we have a boy named Ethan. They're chilling in the house together. She goes up to the panic room. A person knocks out her cousin, Ethan, threatens to kill her. She pulls a trick on him, saying, if you're really my brother, you know, prove it to me. And we find out, like, you know, she doesn't really actually have a brother. He's actually her cousin, and that's how she fools him. Police get called. They come and save her. Her cousin, Ethan, got knocked out. She got rescued. And now, here's part two to that story, guys. If you guys are excited for it, make sure to leave a like down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. I would definitely appreciate it. It helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And if you guys click that notification bell, that'll help me out so much as well because you guys will be alerted whenever I upload a video so you never miss out. And when I do live streams, you guys will get a notification as well because earlier today I did a Fortnite live stream and a couple of you guys came and hung out, which is really, really cool. If you're interested in my Fortnite videos, links are in the description down below. And if you guys are interested in my merch, links are in the description down below as well. Go click on any one of those links. It definitely helps me out, guys. But guys, let's go ahead and get into this. It's a safe room part two. Enjoy. All right, guys, here we go. This is literally one week later. So here we go. One week later. Sup. You're awake? Barely. I'm coming over there right now. It's 3 a.m. Visiting hours are over. Okay, let's go. How are you doing? How are you doing? The pain isn't bad, but I'm kind of shaken up. Heck yeah, dude. You got freaking knocked out. The cops told me what happened. I can't remember anything. They still haven't caught the guy? No. Dude, there would literally be nothing worse than that. Like, you're in your house, you get assaulted, and the cops haven't caught the person who assaulted you? Bro, I'd be so paranoid. One sec. Night nurse has hooked me up to some kind of IV thing. Ooh, a night nurse. Is she cute? She's wearing a mask, so I can't really see her face. That's weird, bro. Why would a nurse be wearing a mask, dude? Like, she's not going into surgery. She's not doing anything. She's just, like, hooking up to an IV. I mean, it's not like he's, like, contaminated. It's not like he has some kind of disease. Why would she be wearing a mask, bro? Something seems fishy about that. But she's kind of intense. She said if the knife was one inch to the right, I'd be dead. I keep feeling like whoever did this is going to try to finish the job. That would be paranoia. Um, I think you'll be fine. We can't, like, we can't just, like, you know, we, we gotta help him out. I think you'll be fine. The cop said it was probably just some random drug addict. But I heard my dad whispering to the police like he knew something. I just have this weird feeling. Like, it's not random at all. Yeah. I know my dad is hiding something. Do you ever wonder why he has a steel-reinforced panic room? Can't really blame him for that. I think he got a little paranoid when my mom died. Has he ever told you anything about Aunt Caroline? No. Just that she was murdered when I was a baby. He's never told me about my mother either. He just said she left. What if this isn't a coincidence? We need to know the truth. Yo! Okay, 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 okay. So I just literally just developed a theory. So Ethan's mom died whenever he was a baby, and Laura's mom left whenever she was a baby? And they're like the same age or something? Dude, what if they actually are related? What if Ethan actually is her brother? Oh my god, dude. Okay, we gotta keep going. Um, So we need to know the truth. We need to ask my dad. Maybe I can find something in the safe room. Okay, obviously your dad isn't going to tell you anything. That's always like the worst thing. Like, I mean, they're going to lie. They're going to be like, no, you know, just try to brush it off, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, th and then they're going to be extra cautious to cover things up, which will make it a lot harder to like uncover things. I say go search in the panic room again. Maybe go find something in the safe room. You really want to go back in there? Maybe there's some kind of information or files or records. Hang on, the night nurse is back. She says it's time for lights out. I mean, it's 3 a.m., I would hope so. 
getting kind of sleepy. I think she wants to take my phone. Okay, that is weird. Why would the nurse want to take your phone, dude? That's weird. Wait. Oh, no. Hello? Ethan? Ethan can't come to the phone. Oh, no, dude. What? What's happening? Who is this? We've spoken before. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we'll meet again soon. Oh, dear. If you hurt Ethan, I swear to God, I'll kill you. What happens to Ethan is up to you, Laura. Oh, we got an image. Oh, no. Bro, it looks like there's blood and stuff like coming from that IV. That's not what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to get water from your IV. If you do as I say, maybe I'll be nice to him. If you don't, I'll drain every last drop. What do you want from me? We both want the same thing. What are you talking about? You'll know soon. I'm calling the police! I wouldn't do that. His life is in your hands, Laura. Oh god, oh god. How, how do I know you won't kill him anyway? I guess you'll just have to trust me. Just tell me what you want me to do. Your father's special room. I need you to go back in there. There's nothing valuable in there. No money, no jewelry. It's not money I'm after. I want truth. Truth about what? Go in the safe room, Laura. Now. No! Oh, dude, she has- Dude, that's a lot of blood. Holy freaking- there's a no way she drained that much in that short amount of time. She had to have, like, just been sitting there draining him while they've been texting, bro. Stop! That's two pints now. Should I keep going? Bro, how much blood can you pull for somebody before they, like, actually die? Like, that's a lot of blood, dude. Okay, I'm in the safe room. Do you see any papers, Laura? Files? No, just food and water. Some security monitors. Are you sure? Look harder. There's a floor safe? Under the rug. Open it. I don't know the combination. Better start guessing. God, freaking dang it. Um, I'll try my birthday, because it's her dad, so I'll try my birthday. Didn't work. Try 080973. It worked. What the hell is that? My birthday. Of course. Who is this? Who has Ethan's phone? Who's talking to Laura? Who is this? What? Who are you? Your dad is the sentimental type. Tell me what's inside. Just documents. Files? Newspaper stuff? Birth certificates? Read them. Take your time. Read them and understand the truth. It's about Ethan's mom's murder. It says... Oh my god. So your father didn't tell you about Ethan. Ethan isn't my cousin? Oh, you're almost there. You thought you were being so clever, but I was right. We were both right. He's my brother. And my cousin. Whoa, what? Smart girl. It was you. You killed Ethan's mother. You tried to kill Ethan. He didn't belong. He wasn't part of the family. He was a bastard and his mother was a whore. But I took care of her. Mom? L listen here, boys and girls. Listen here. What the actual heck just happened in that story? How was Ethan... Her brother and her cousin. Does, does that mean that her mom and dad are brother and sister? And they had two kids? Are they kids of incest? What the heck, dude? I'm, I'm so confused. I am so confused, bro. I'm so confused. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed part two of Safe Room, make sure to leave a like down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. It would definitely help me out. I would appreciate it so much, guys. But guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. This has been your boy Austin, a.k.a. Duckawalla. Peace out.